More airstrikes targeting the Gaza Strip. Those attacks ramping up between Hamas militants and Israeli forces for the past two weeks. Gaza now saying more than 3,700 people have died. More than 1,400 people in Israel have been killed, with nearly 200 held hostage. Us are the new Nazis. They're the new ISIS. And we have to fight them together. Meanwhile, the U.S. is sending a naval command and control ship to the eastern Mediterranean to help deter other groups from entering the war. President Biden said to address the nation from the Oval Office tonight. He's expected to lay out his plan to support both the wars in Israel and Ukraine. He's also asking for hundreds of billions of dollars in emergency funds to arm both countries. But Congress will have the final say. That request is expected to also fund arming Taiwan and fortifying the U.S.-Mexico border. We will bring you the president's address live right here on Fox 5 at 8 o'clock. Meanwhile, the State Department issuing a rare worldwide caution advisory to all Americans who are overseas with the Middle East as the conflict rages on. The agency rec recommending enrolling in the Smart Traveler program, which can make it easier to locate tourists during an emergency.